Today we are going to beat Elden Ring using rewards from bosses that only spawn at night. There are 21 total bosses that spawn exclusively at night. Spoiler alert, they are all a pain in the ass. I'm looking at you specifically, Mr. Death Right Bird. The rules for this challenge are simple. I must use every reward dropped by a night boss at least once. When possible, I must use each reward in the region it was acquired in, meaning if I loot the Knight's Cavalry Glaive in Liurnia, I must use it to kill a boss in Liurnia. Finally, no summons are allowed for this run. For my sanity, I'm going to allow Golden Seeds, Sacred Tears, Upgrade Materials, and Torrent to be used. To start, we chose the Samurai class, jumped off a cliff, and borrowed my girlfriend's horse. The Violated Butler has subscribed. Thank you, bro. Your username is legendary. I just want to know, how were you violated, bro? Do I want to know? Probably not, but I'm curious. Okay, so you might be wondering, how am I going to get my first weapon? Well, what if I told you there was two possible first weapons that I could do? There could be three options. There's two options that I know of. But we're going to go with option A, because I like option A. The weapon for option A is pretty good, and we're really close to it. So let's uh, let's do it real quick. You're going to follow me, Mr. Bird. Yep, yeah, yeah. Keep coming. That'll work. Okay. Now we stand over here and we crouch and hope for the best. Yep. Okay, Mr. Bird. Please jump off the cliff if you could. Will he jump? Oh, he did. First try, by the way. Let's go. <laughs> Sucker. Now that we had a weapon, it was time to get started. We grabbed both halves of Dectus and the Glintstone Academy key to reach Altus to start the Radon Festival. Then we grabbed Somberstones one through four from EG and five from Castle Redmain so we can upgrade the Death's Poker to plus five. Jump, bro. There we go. See ya. <laughs> Sucker. Another guy cheesed. All right, first boss, Radon. Love to see that. This shouldn't be bad, but it's probably going to get worse after this. Oh, yeah, that's good. We like that. Woo! Okay, do the thing. There it is. One. And two. One more. Oh, no dice. It's under a quarter. This is still a plus five weapon, by the way. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, go through the frost. Ooh. Okay. One more tickle. And tickle the horse and see you later. Easy boss. I told you this weapon would be pretty good. This is like the best weapon we're gonna use and we're using it right off the rip. So we're not gonna see this for a while. Things are gonna be a lot harder from now on. All right, let's go to Limgrave. All right, repeating thrust is what we got here. All right, Knight's Calf. This is the second Knight's Calf that we're killing of like nine. Nice try. Nice. Who the hell is this guy behind me? Yo, piss off, bro. This guy. Yeah, screw off. Nice. Okay. And then see you later, Rester. Knight's Calf. Nice knowing you. Repeating thrust. Okay. All right. So for the purposes of repeating thrust, what we're going to do is we're going to buy a sword that I can use it on. Because there's nothing that I can actually use it on. It's not going to have any status effects because I don't want to be cheating. I don't want to use the Uchi Katana. I'd be like, look, I got thrust on it. So we're just going to use one of these generic swords. We'll use the long sword. Okay. And I'll put repeating thrust on it. I know technically it didn't come from a night drop, but I want to be able to use this Ash War. And I want to be able to use it in Limgrave. So we're going to use it now. If you hate it, comment down below that I'm an idiot and I shouldn't have done it. All right, let's kill Margate with this thing. So since I'm using a weapon that wasn't originally from a knight only drop, but the Ash of War is, I'm only going to allow myself to use the Ash of War. All right, Margate, let's go. Oh, I did not expect that. Hold on, bro. Shit. Okay, we're not doing well. I just want to be able to hit him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Not good so far. I guess if I can bait him to do a jump attack, that'd be good. 
There it is. Come on, another one. I might need more blue, actually. I should have gotten a second blue flask, I guess. Let's go home. Go on, Margaret. What you got? We can still do this. Yep. Yep. Just like that. Nice. Come on. Yeah. Beat his cheeks. Let's go. Come on. We can still do it. We're still on pace for the one shot here. Woo. Come on. Ooh. Not good. I should have just waited a second. Oh, there we go. Let's go! <laughs> Easy one shot. Wow, that repeating thrust ability is kind of ass. But, you know, we figured it out. Oh, this little sucker, man. This guy's a son of a bitch. Ow. Yo, screw fighting these birds. Okay. And see you later, Mr. Bird. I'm sure, I'm going to love fighting them later. Okay, blue feathered branch sword raises defense when HP is low. There's a couple things we can get in weeping. So let's go there. All right, Knight's Cav number three, I think. Yeah, number three. I'm back here, horsey. Oh, shit. I just died. God damn it, that's embarrassing. Clearly not good at fighting these. Okay, see you later. Just had to get him off the horse, man. Barricade shield and boom, there's the flail. That's what we're after. 24 dexterity. All right. Well, looks like we're cheesing the big dragon. Almost there. And see you later, Mr. Dragon. Okay, plus four flails. Probably fine. All right, Godric time. Look at these things. They dangle like a pair of balls. Look at that. They're super dangly. It's like a pair of nuts swinging in the wind. All right, sorry about that image. All right, Godric. Meet my dingle dangle. Good roll. Good start. Nice. Okay. Nice. Nice try. Oh, got him. It's gonna bleed. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Spilled out that bleed. Okay. Do it again. Here we go. Yep, there's another bleed. Okay. Bowl. That's the repost. Ooh. He wants to play with the beans? Oh, shit. Do the spin. Yeah. And then... Dingle dangle. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Take the dingle dangle to the face. Let's go. He couldn't handle the dingle dangle. All right, we'll go to Liernia. All right, this is Knight's Cav number four. Oh, good. Ow. Wow, he immediately summoned a horse. Seems cheap. I'm gonna die to this guy. Yep, say it. Okay. And see you later, bro. It's harder than it should have been. Giant Hunt and the Knight Rider Glaive. Okay. All right, we got it to plus 10. So we kill the dog with the regular weapon, and then we come back and use Giant Hunt on Renala. This thing's probably good, honestly. I've never used this weapon before, but it looks like it could be really good. Usually halberds are really good, but this one doesn't have any status effects, so that's kind of sad. Oh, come on, Mr. Dog. That works. Ow. Oh, look, the dog's stuck. <laughs> the dog is stuck. I've never seen this before. Look at this. Dog needs a step, bro. Oh, shit. Oh. Dude, what am I doing? Okay. See you later, doggy. Gotta put down the dog. All right, there should be a knight's cab down here. Here it is. Oh. 
Give him a spinning slash. Oh, see you later, bro. Icicle spear is what we're looking for there. All right, so we do Ronaldo with the icicle spear. I'm a little nervous because I have seven blue flasks and one healing flask, but I think it might take that much. Good. That's not good. Yikes. Okay, we're going for the four phase. I didn't think this would be that bad. Easy five cycle first phase Renala. Yeah, this is terrible, man. Shit. Well, you know, you can't win them all. Icicle Spear is absolute trash against Renala, it turns out. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, this is great. Three. Good. Boom. <laughs> it's like a pinata. Boom. <laughs> Wait, this is awesome. I love this. Oh, shit. Boom. <laughs> and then pop. It's like pop goes the weasel right there. That's awesome. This thing is hilarious. And then one more. Bop. <laughs> Let's go. Got him. Giant hunt is it, bro. It's so good against humanoids. That was fun. I actually really like that one. With Renala dead, we can go kill the other death right bird. See you later, Mr. Bird. That should be the red feather. Boom. Also, never gonna use this. So we'll go kill Loretta with Icicle Spear. Okay, so Loretta's got, I think, 40% magic resistance, which is better than Renala, who had 80%. So we should be able to get it done, but she is immune to Frostbite. All right, Loretta. There's something. Damage is not bad, honestly. Oh, and a miss. It does require me to hit, though. Excellent. She's gonna phase. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Boom. Okay. Oh, bad. Bad for me. Bad again. Oh, it kicked in. Boom. There's that 20% damage from the talisman, finally. I have way too many blue flasks. But I have one HP in a dream. Nice. What are we doing? Okay. That's an opening. Come on. Boom. One more of those. Boom. Boom. Let's go. First try. Easy one HP, baby. Let's go. So let's go kill the death right bird. All right. So this cheese, I've actually never done it before. So we're going to learn together. But I think I understand how to do it. And after he spawns in, we get him to come this way. Yep. We want him to keep coming. Come on, bird. Yep. That looks good. So we got to get him like past this little rock here. Boom. That's even better. All right, if he does that again, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Oh, wait. That was the move. Shit. Just because he despawns once doesn't mean it doesn't work. Jesus! Dude, get up! He should have died there, I think. There we go. You're right in the right spot now. Now I just need you to do the jump. Okay. Oh, come on. That's gotta be it, man. They might have patched it, guys. I mean, that was as clean as I could have got it, I think. Oh, and that was really good, too? I don't know. We'll just kill him. Oh, did I not mention this boss is a nightmare to fight? So, yeah, couldn't just kill himself. I only expected to have to kill two death right birds. Fighting any of these birds is terrible. No! Oh, he's doing so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Boom. See ya. Bang. Oh, run! Run on the horse! Oh! Oh! Get me out of that! Fuck! Oh! We're good? I'm one-handing for some reason. No! Oh! 
Come on. Just eat it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, let's go. Screw that bird, dude. Oh, <laughs> easy bird. <laughs> there it is, boys. Let's go. 34 intelligence, 24 faith. Uh, what is the next weapon? That's a good question. Well, we have to go to Altus. Uh, we're not gonna do the bell bearing guy right now. He doesn't drop anything we can use, unfortunately. Only one of them has a bell bearing we can actually use to damage stuff. All right, this guy has our next weapon. Shit. Okay, screw that guy. He's gonna attack and then boom, pop off. Do the Ash of War. Good night. See you later, Mr. Nightscap. Boom. Shared order is what we're looking for. We'll use this weapon. All right, let's see. Apply the Ash of War. Shared order. We'll do standard affinity. All right, so we're going to kill the Tree Sentinel with this. We're going to do the El Clasico here to the horse. And uh, we're pushing him off the cliff. And he's going to love it. All right, Mr. Horse. Same shit. Different day. Let's uh, let's get to work, Mr. Horse. Great job, Mr. Horse. Use that. Oh, yep. A little bit further now, Mr. Horse. Yeah, right there is good. That looks great. Nice. Bang. Come on. Off the cliff. Boom. Yeah, see, baby, let's go. Let's go. All right, so that's shared order. We're going to use that all the time for these death birds. So I'm not too worried about that. In fact, we're going to use it on a death bird right now. So when I use the ability, it's an aura buff. And so it's not a weapon buff. So when I switch weapons, it actually stays. So I can use the death's poker and I can have this aura buff to do 50% more damage to undead, which is going to be nuts. Oh my God, I just got domed. Please live. Dude, no shot. I got killed by these guys. Yes. Dude, give me the fucking runes. No shot. Okay, fuck the runes. I can't get them, dude. These fucking archers are snipers apparently today. Let's go. Oh, there we go. That's big. That should be over. GG, death bird. Let's go. And that should be the twin bird kite shield. Yep, you guessed it. That's our next weapon. The plus 13 shield. Screw it. Why not? It's time to go beat the shit out of gold free with a shield. We've got one shield and one dream to beat gold free here. This is not going to be quick. It's not going to be painless. And it's definitely going to be long and hard. And yes, that's what he said. Bang. Okay. 88. Oh, it attacks so slow. Oh, there we go. Beat the shit out of him. Nice. Oh, baby, let's go. Boom. Bang. Bang. Take it to the face. Oh. Bang. Just a little bit more. Okay. There's a freaking rock there. Woo! Let's go! Easy shield kill! New day, same me, different shirt. Also, a new spell, Death Rancor. And yes, we have a different staff. It's not one dropped by any nighttime bosses, but for the sake of using the spell, I'm gonna allow myself to use the unupgradable meteorite staff. If you hate this, you can tell me in the comments that I'm an absolute bozo and then I should have done this and this is completely unacceptable and I'm a goddamn idiot and then I should uninstall this game. But you must continue watching. It's good for the algorithm. So you can please keep watching. All right, here we go. Death. Oh, wow. Yep. Okay. Not, not terrible, but also not good. There you go. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's terrible, actually. I take that back. <laughs> it's really bad. Oh, it has a lot of stance build up, though. That's cool. I don't think this is going to be possible, to be honest. I just don't think I'm going to do enough damage to this guy. Well, uh, we'll try it on somebody else. Well, it was a good attempt. Just 
not enough damage. We'll try that on something else later, which means we need a new weapon. Yay. All right, so there's one bell bearing hunter that actually drops a usable weapon. And that's where we're going. Now, apparently there's some cheese to this. So we're gonna take this really difficult boss. We're gonna make him a little bit cheesy. Oh, okay. So we get up here. Oh, okay, on the roof. Okay, not on the roof. No, no, no. Oh shit. Well, that did not go as planned. Yeah, he can see me, but he can't get me. And I can just fire these at him. Oh, well, how about that? Stay up here on this tall part and just keep cheesing him if you do this. Yeah, just know while you're doing this, you're definitely a weenie. And you know what? This is saving me a lot of pain and agony so that I can have a lot of pain and agony later because this guy's a dickhead and I have to fight a bunch of death right birds. So see you later, bro. Nice knowing you. Thanks for the bell bearing, loser. All right, so this bell bearing gets you gravity stone chunks and gravity stone fans. The chunk is a single target version. The fan is an AOE thing. Okay, so you can only have 10 and 10. All right, we're gonna try Margate with this garbage. But maybe I should get under 20% health so my gravity stone chunks do more damage. All right, let's use one. 200 for a fan. What about a chunk? Ow. Okay, he played into my plan. 460. All right. Like this. Bazingus. Oh, maybe it did do more damage, actually. Here, take that. Oh, that's not good. Not good at all. I have less than half left, and he's not at half health. So that's a bad start. But I did miss one. Okay. I'm dead. Shit. No, shit. Okay, I confirmed don't have enough gravity chunks and fans to kill this guy. So we'll save that for something else. What a shame. I thought for sure I'd have enough damage, but I have the FP and if I could have, if I could stack a bunch of those things, it would work, but I can't. Okay, take this. Oh yeah, 48. Love to see that. 64. Is it just bad on humanoids too? No way this can't kill him. Dude, what is this spell, man? I said to be super stupid far away. God damn it. I shouldn't have taken any freaking healing flasks. All right. I mean, it worked. It wasn't pretty. But we got it done. Oh, there we go. I used the spell. Can't say I didn't use it, but I cannot tell you that it was any good. Next on the hit list is a nice cavalry. Yep, you guessed it. Oh, and there goes the horse. Man's on the ground. Oh, frostbite. Oh, yeah. Yes, baby. Let's go. See you later. We're getting good at these knight's calves. It's almost like I've killed six of them this playthrough. And there it is. Poison moth flight. Uh, no, there are no small or medium swords that are dropped by any of these things. So once again, we're going to be cranking out the keen long sword. This is the third weapon we're using on Morgoth, and it should be the last. Please, for the love of God, be the last. Okay. Nice. Didn't poison. I do, I do note that it did not poison. Oh, that poisoned and it acted like blood loss. Interesting. Could be decent, I guess. I think I want to keep the poison damage, though. Shit. See ya. Shit. It's gonna be easier for me if I just let the poison tick down until it falls off instead of using it like bleed. Oh, it falls off quick. Wait, this poison is not that good. Give me something I can work with. That's not it. That'll work. Nice. Oh. Oh, come on. Did that not proc it? He's like a tickle away. Come on. Let's go. Easy poison moth flight kill. Let's go. That took forever, man. 
That was not great. Don't recommend that one. The poison it puts on is like a terrible poison. It only lasts for like a fifth of his health, maybe less. There's so many better poisons. Like the poison mist would do way better. <sighs> that was like a 10 to 15 minute fight alone. Bang, road medallion. Smithing stone, miners, bell bearing three. Nothing like fighting a death right bird in the snowy biomes. Boom. Okay. Good. Not good. Ow. Oh. Oh my. Oh, we're super dead. Ooh, I'm stuck on a rock. No, I'm fucking stuck on a rock. That's pissing. Oh, yeah. No, what? You can, so y'all can shut the fuck up. You can shut up. Fucking lick my asshole. Get up. Oh, yeah. Just die. Get out. Get out of there. What are you talking about? Now that's, that's awesome, bro. Dude, I'll get what the fuck is this? Who put this there? What is that? It's a blob. Please let me out. Let me out, God. Excellent. And we're fucking dead. Yeah. We're fine. No way, bro. I rolled. I rolled. I don't want to see this. Dude, I take it back. Fighting this fucking boss. Fighting this boss is like sticking your hand in a wood chipper, dude. Oh, wait. Pause, champ. Oh, let's go! Oh, let's go! Easy bird, let's go! Oh, wow, you love to see that, man. You love to see it. Sometimes it works out, and sometimes the squirrel finds the nut. And today, we found the nut. All right, we got our new weapon. Don't worry, there's one more. In case you wanted to see me fight it some more, there's another one, and it's harder. Can't wait for that. Okay, Larry. Be good. I'm going to jump in there and I'm going to grab the stone and I'm going to leave you alone. And it's going to be that simple. Here we go. Like this. Thank you. Larry. Larry, piss off, Larry. Oh, Larry number two. Oh, might as well get this. Oh, that's a seven. Okay. Easy. Seven, eight. Boom. Okay, we've got a plus eight spear. Time to kill Commander Nile. Let's go. Okay. Roll. No, you sons of bitches. Oh, shit balls. Okay. Ooh, love to see that. Stance break. Nice. It does a bit of poise. Oh. Just like that. Boom. Stance break and easy boss. Second try or something like that. Maybe third try. Post game review weapon is I. I think it'll be crazy against a boss that has like a big boss. We could try it against Placidusax, for example. Thank you. We can finally get an armor piece. And yep, you guessed it. We need to kill not one, but two Knights Cavalry. Okay, and we're dead. For sure, yep. Let's go, there's one. And then one more chef's kiss. Here we go. Yep, a little bit more. And see you later. Love that. Just gonna kill the patrol. They start tweaking if they get a little bit far away. And uh, yeah, I took advantage of it. Yep, and I'm not sorry about it. Yeah, we've got one more cheeky knight's cavalry to kill. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah. See you later, bro. 
Let's go. Phantom Slash. That's what we're killing the fire giant with. And that's nine of nine Knights Cavalry for those of you keeping track. Oh shit, I wasn't ready. I keep forgetting about Encha. Nice try, Encha. There you go. Team No Pants. Okay. We don't need any pants. We're like a real knight's cavalry. We're on the horse and we've got the glaive and the armor. Nice. That's a good move. Okay. Get a bit. Good. Okay. Come on. Come on, we can still do it. Oh, shit. Horse is dead. For sure. Yeah. And we're dead. Oh, we lived. No horse. Hide. Can we hide behind this? Oh. Okay. Come on. We're right there, guys. This is taking quite a while. Not gonna lie. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Easy phantom slash fire giant. Love to see it. That was not terrible. It just took really long. The next weapon is gonna be the gravity stone chunks and fans. I have to use them both. I was originally just gonna use them both for different bosses, but you can only buy 10 of each and that's limited damage. So we're gonna kill Mr. Moose. Okay. Good. Wait. Oh, that worked well. Okay. Bang. Perfect. Good work. It's a couple more chunky boys. Ow. Yep. Oh, no, Mr. Moose. Bad moose. How are we missing the moose? Please, Mr. Moose. Oh, that was a headshot. Okay, we're like one smack away from Mr. Moose being dead. Oh, bang. See you later, Mr. Moose. Let's go. We are going to absolute hell. And by absolute hell, I mean, we're gonna kill another death right bird. And he's in the Northwest, apparently. Right next to that giant ass mausoleum that shoots out nukes, which is awesome, by the way. Look at this, look at this. It's the, oh. Oh, yeah, that was good. Oh, yeah, I can't even get to the church, man. That's cool. Maybe I can have this thing kill the death right bird. Good. Oh, my God, I got hit by the freaking nuke. No way it's shooting at me, bro. What is this? It's making my game lag. It's, it's literally killing me. Dude, I can't with this fucking mausoleum. Why is it shoot? Well, how do you fight this bird? So apparently I'm supposed to run up to it and then hit the feet before you fight the bird. Definitely. What the hell is happening? I'm fucking dead. Okay, awesome, man. Now that that thing's out of the way, we can go suffer with the death right bird. Yes. Wait, can I get him to jump off? Oh, come on, bird. Jump. Jump, bird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right off the cliff, bird. Yeah. Oh, he didn't take any damage. Come on, man. That would have been awesome. Just heal, bro. Just heal. We're good. We're chilling. Send it. Yes, let's go. Oh, it's like third try or something stupid. Let's go. Easy bird. Explosive ghost flame. You love to see that. Yeah, once you figure out the other one, that one's not as bad. Thank you for killing that. Boom. 
See you later. Bang. Sacrificial axe. Love to see that. And who are we killing with this? You might ask. Uh, Loretta. Time to put down another horse. Go, Loretta. Oh, I do not hit hard. Wow. Oh. At least my armor is good. Again. Boom. Nice. See ya. Nice. Don't choke, bro. You got this. You're one HP, but it doesn't matter. It's like you have a hundred health. It's like you're full. Just play the game. Just play the game. Oh. Give me a stun. Don't panic. Oh. That was close. I thought about panicking. Just gonna play the game. Let's go! Oh, easy game! Got him. Also, that was only a plus 12 weapon against Loretta. It's probably stupid, but I didn't want to spend any more runes. Boom, 30. Just like that. Explosive Ghost Flame. Symphorani? Absolutely. Excellent. Bang. Bang. New shirt. Same spell. Different day. We are on our way completing the Ronnie quest line and we are heading towards Estelle. As I'm recording this, they actually just dropped a trailer for the Elden Ring DLC. If you somehow are watching this video but don't know that, then uh, you're welcome. Go watch the trailer. Come on. Watching me instead of that. I appreciate that. Holy shit, I appreciate that. But come on. You gotta get your priorities straight here. As for what do I want out of the DLC, honestly, guys, I want a boss that's harder than Melania to fight, obviously. I don't know. I'm kind of a masochist, I guess, saying that out loud. I think it'd be super cool if there was a guy that was harder than Melania. Like, if that Mesmer the Impaler guy is pretty strong. And then I was pretty sure that Godwin was going to be in the DLC. I have a theory currently as of uh, just watching the trailer. I was like, yo, what if Godwin is that Malekith looking dog thing? Wouldn't that be sick? Also, let me kill this dog. Ow. There. Yeah. Give me the key. There's the key. But all right, let's do this. It's going to be a nightmare. And am I optimistic for explosive ghost flame? I don't think it's going to be fun, but I think it's going to do enough damage and we're going to be able to get it done. Fine with me. Bang. Okay. That's pretty mid damage. Not great. This is a good one to punish, it looks like. Nope, we're done. Say it. Roll, man. Okay. I don't think I have enough. Explosive ghost flame turns out not that great against the stealth. Well, unless I can pull this off. Oh, yep, yeah, that was good. Bang. Say it. Yeah, this isn't gonna happen. I don't have enough blue flask for this. Not enough damage. Chiba. Oh. Finish her off. Let's go. Let's go. We're rocking the tier one simp shirt, living up to our name. And you know what they say? If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. So we're securing the bag here. Maiden acquired. Better yet, wife acquired. Now that we've secured the bag, it's time to go down to Fortisax and all of those goon squads. Just gonna clap Moog's cheeks real quick. Nice. jumping puzzle and we'll be on our way to Fia's champs. Send it. Oh my god. Wait a minute. First try. Wow. First try. Easy platforming. All right. Fia's champs against this garbage. Okay. 
Bang. He got up. Hit it again. Bang. Jit. Again. See it. That's not good. Roger, you chat. Nice. Shit. Well, this is not good, guys. Not good. See it? Yeah, into that shit. Good. Boom, there's one. Almost two. That guy's got no health. Come on. No. Give me some hyper armor, damn it. Oh, I'm dead. Unless. Unless. Let's go. Just send it again. YOLO Oh ho, ho. Let's go Let's end it again Boom There's two Wait No 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 Don't die to that Don't die to this No way Bro Who 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 Nah Nah Come on No Come on Let's go Oh, come on. Back roll. Send it. Let's go. <laughs> Son of a bitch. You love to see it. I did not think we had that. Let's go. She holds me tighter. Damn. Don't you know I'm already married, lady? Jeez. All right, it's time to enter her dreams. We're about to become the man of her dreams. Never thought I'd be the man of anyone's dreams. Except Ronnie. Shout out to her. Let's kill a dragon. I wonder how this will do against it. Bang. What does this do? Okay, jump that. This Ash of War is pretty good, man. Try again. Oh, that was garbage. There you go. Just spam that. It seems to be working well. Oh, this Asher War is so good. Only with stun. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Bad news. Death Dragon. Oh, yep. Yeah. Nice dodge. Finish him off. That's what she said. Let's go. Just spam the Ash of War on this thing, and it's uh, an easy fight. This thing's kind of really strong, guys. And I have no buffs right now. I just have the Spirit plus eight, and it's kind of cracked. Godskin Duo next. I thought the Death's Poker would be the best weapon of the run, but this could be it. I really like this thing. I'm gonna do the same strategy we just did. Okay. Good. Okay, broke his stance. Nice. And if they stack up, it's really good. You don't really want to damage them evenly, though. It's the only problem. And I'm sure I am doing that. Oh, stunned him out of his animation. See it? Okay. See you later. Wow, this thing is stupid good, guys. I mean, you just spam the Ash of War and you're so safe. That guy's dead. Oh, am I out of stuff? I'm out of juice. That's fine. I don't need any more juice. And see you later. Easy Godskin duo. Here we go, Malekith. Take all this shit. Okay, damage is pretty bad. Who would have guessed? Still sucks. Okay. 
Nice miss. Gent. Come on. Good. Okay, back up. Good. Damn it. I didn't get the stance break. Oh, and there it is. Let's go. Clean. Mr. Clean. Magic eraser. Good. Good. Ow. Oh, 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 no, no, oh. Oh, okay. Nice. Let's go! Got him! Doesn't he... Doesn't he dodge Death's Poker here? Should be slightly out of reach, I think. And we'll just, you know, tear him apart. To become Elden Lord. Okay. What a sad state of affairs. Come on. Good. Damn it. Nice. Oh, well, that was not great. No way, dude. I'm behind him. There. I'll do anti fun too, bro. How you like this? How's this? Sir spams a lot. Nice. See you later, bro. Once again, man, the Death's Ritual Spear. It's really good. Okay, uh, let's do Godfrey next. Here we go, Godfrey. Ow. Nice. Did that miss? Oh. No, it just doesn't hit very hard. Interesting. There we go. Oh, come on. I was behind him. No way. Bang. Okay. Bang. Okay. Drink this. Why didn't I just use the Ash of War there? Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> Sucker! Okay, let's go kill Placidusax. Fatty Daddy Placidusax. Who's this? One. Good. Two. Here we go. I mean, it's half decent. There we go. It's a little hot in here. Come on, stun him. 
No stunning. We're at the finish line here. Guys just got so much health. Oh. One more of those. Come on. Let's go. Uh, who's next? Moog. All right, Moog, let's go. Nice. Oh. Oh my god. Give me a frostbite. Come on, please. No dice. Says no can do, boss. Oh, wait, I did get one. We got one. One, two, buckle my shoe. Let's go. Easy boss. Oh, by the way, guys, this is confirmed the entrance to the DLC. So to get to the DLC, we're going to have to kill Moog, which is... You know, it's a very interesting decision they made. He's such an endgame boss. But uh, I guess that implies that most of the bosses in the DLC are going to be endgame level bosses. So, I mean, that's kind of exciting. We'll go kill Melania next. All right. We made it to the Helic Tree Roots. And it's time to kiss Melania's sweet cheeks. Sorry, not kiss. Clap. We've got Bloodhound Step and we've got this. Let's make it happen. Here we go. Try this out. Oh. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Chill, Melania. You're good. Not as good against Melania as I would have hoped. But I wanted to test it out. You never know. Okay. Oh. That's going to be a water vault. Oh! Oh! Okay, yep. Not a good weapon against Melania. Turns out, you hate to see that. Bang. Oh my god, I got lucky. And I got lucky again. And again. Oh. Oh. Good. Oh, wow, a double repost. Let's go. Clapping her cheeks for real this time. Oh, phase two. Boom. Maybe an icicle spear. Nice. Another one, maybe. Okay. Boom. Let's go. Bop. Good. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
Shabbat. Ooh, good roll. Good. Couple of spears. Bang. Oh, that didn't matter. Okay, don't panic here at the end. We're at the finish line. It's gonna do it right. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's almost over. Okay. Oh. See you later, Melania. In the bin. Let's go. We're gonna start with the Death Poker and then we're gonna Elden Beast with the uh, Death Ritual Spear. That's the current strat. Oh no. I'm such a fool. I couldn't find a weapon. Shit. What a disaster, man. I roll. All right, Mr. Elden Beast, please just die already. Please die. Oh, no flasks at all? Okay. I'm gonna stun for sure. There we go. No! God damn it, man. Oh, well, you know, that worked out. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, yeah, that worked out. Whew. I thought I was gonna throw that one away. There you have it. Night rewards only in Elden Ring. Turns out there's a lot of items and weapons and spells that you can get from these night only bosses that are pretty good. But, you know, there are a lot that aren't really good at all. Looking at you, ancient death rank whore and explosive That's ghost flame. If you liked the video, make sure you click that like button down below and subscribe for more from me. Did you know that about 97% of my audience is not subscribed? Come on, guys. If you find yourself watching me pretty regularly, consider hitting the button. It's completely free. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Shout out to Diet Mar Yugen. I actually stole his challenge run idea for this video. So as you can see, I do viewer suggestions all the time. So if you have a suggestion for me, a challenge run or something like that, comment down below and maybe I'll steal your idea. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And as always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and see you later.